What is up my thrifty friends? Tabs here from the Urban Goddess Shop. Welcome back to my channel. This is a little bit of an unconventional beginning to one of my videos, but I recorded an intro in the morning and it did not record. I literally took a picture instead of recording. We are heading out. We're going to start the day. I have to do a few things first. Uh, we're going to go pick up Callie from the groomer and then we're going to start our sourcing day. We're going to three stores and I have a little special surprise at the end of the video for you. So <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, this way. This way, come on. Cal, you <laughs> look so cute. Hello, you look so cute. Say hi to everyone. <laughs> I have to interrupt really quickly. I want you guys to stay tuned till the end because I have one item that I'm giving away to a viewer. It has a 300% sell through rate on eBay. I'm so excited. It's a new to me brand. I've never found it. And I am gonna gift it to one of you. Back to the video. All right, we're here. I'm so excited. I seriously find some really good gems here. It's just not like huge quantity of items I find, but I, I'm hoping to find like 10 good pieces, you know, that will hold value over $40. And uh, I'm excited. I haven't been to this location in a couple weeks, so we'll see what we find. Also, I don't have any coupon. Oh, of course, when I go to talk, I don't have any coupons. And uh, I left my wallet and my purse at our mountain cabin. So I had to like go get new bank cards and driver's license and all this snaz. But all my coupons are in my purse in a different province. So we are couponless. Let's head back into this mode. I love looking through the athletic section. I'm always looking for Lululemon stuff like that. I'm on the hunt for that all the time. And for some reason at this location, I usually find good Lululemon stuff for a very reasonable price. It's funny how the same store can price differently location to location, but some locations have better pricing on certain brands and it's just like each one has their good things and their bad things. Oof, that was a crazy price. What the heck? And of course, I thought this was a Lulu item. It is not, so I'm gonna pass on that. I don't typically buy dupes of anything to resell because I kind of feel like they undercut the brands. So yeah, I'm always on the hunt. Quickly flipping through. Sorry if you were hoping to see all the brands. Here's another kind of cool piece, but when I looked at the price, $15.49, that's just seemed a little bit steep for that item. But let's keep going. There's just so many people everywhere today. I'm gonna keep this one for myself, toss it in the cart, and looking for Patagonia. Is this Lulu? Nope, no logo, not Lulu. I actually saw a guy walking around with a Patagonia Sherpa zip up and it was marked at $11.99. I saw the price tag while he was walking. <gasps> oh, Lulu, first good piece, bingo. I'm gonna scoop that one and we'll keep looking through. Lululemon in my city, there's just lots of it. I think it's abnormal, <laughs> definitely. But for some reason in the city that I live in, our donation sites get a ton of Lulu stuff. There was a Lulu sweater. I don't typically grab those scubas. I thought that was a Disney one. I don't think it was. But yeah, here's another Lululemon scuba. They usually have them priced at about $17, but they're older styles, so I don't grab them. If it was a newer style, yes, for sure, or 
really good condition solid pattern not green but like black I would probably grab it here's a really cool sweater with polar bears a year ago I definitely would have scooped that up but I just don't grab that style of stuff to sell anymore I was starting to find I was sitting on the items a lot and I'm gonna head to the shorts always looking for biker shorts I thought those are cool uh, these are very old lululemon shorts I don't even know where they're from probably like uh, 2010 era I'm not even sure but lots of just cheap kind of stuff today nothing that was really standing out as well again there was like so many people everywhere going through the racks so sometimes I get discouraged when there's a lot of people and I know quite a few people have gone through my sections do you ever get discouraged are you ever like nah I'm not gonna find anything good here that's kind of how I was feeling today in this store. Okay, it is literally a madhouse in here because it's spring break and uh, I cannot take a ton. So I'm gonna quickly go through this shoe section and then we're gonna go into the car and do the haul because I found some really cool pieces that I'm excited about, but I can't record much in here. There's like people everywhere. I swear there's like a hundred people in the store right now. I've never seen it this busy. <laughs> You too. Oh my gosh, I feel like I found some real gems here and at least one piece that I think my girls are going to want. So that's always exciting. And like one piece I'm pretty excited about because I've never found anything like this. Okay, it was so crazy in there and all the schools have this week off it's like easter spring break i think so it's just packed with people like no joke a hundred people every aisle had like multiple people multiple carts it was just it was a little bit stressful trying to record in there so i thought you know what screw it we're we're not going to record here hoping that the other stores we go to aren't as busy but anyways i got this brunette the label and to tell you the truth yeah it wasn't even that bad price but i did grab this for myself and i like the print on it so what does it say welcome to the babes club and it's very like moto bikerish i think that'll look so cute in summer out by the campfire i need some new cute sweaters because I need to rotate some stuff, definitely. I got a TNA pink kind of crop sweater. This is not ideal doing it in the car. I forgot how uncomfortable <laughs> this can be. I love, it's like very thick and it has like that Henley kind of front to it. Good quality, good price. Um, yeah, I don't think this is a huge value, but I do like to have just some like simple staple pieces in my closet. This might be another one for me. I'm not sure. I want to wash it and give it a shot, but it's a Roots athletic one. Has it on the back too. But it's like a big oversized, um, what the heck do you call it? It's like a quarter zip, right? And it says Roots on it. I think this would look so cute with a pair of like black leggings or uh, I have two tna biker shorts that i've sourced that i'm keeping for myself and this would look so cute with like biker shorts and summer and a nice like ball cap maybe like a white ball cap with it <sighs> okay i got two pieces i'm keeping out of this so far uh next is one of my faves i think my girls are gonna fight over this one but it's a let's do this way it's a maui surf sweater and i I think it's probably vintage just looking at the tag and the quality of the tag so it's called crazy shirts hawaii so made in the usa 80 percent cotton it's just like oh my god there's a 1-800 number on this <laughs> it just has like comfy crew neck written all over it but and it says on the front but the only thing is where the heck is it there's a stain on the front I don't know if, yeah right here so I'm gonna try and stain wash it stain treat it and then hopefully my girls will take this I actually did not buy this to sell at all I was banking that one of my girls is gonna want this and they both love oversized crews they love Hawaii stuff it's their favorite favorite place to go so yeah that should be a good one and I did end up grabbing that Lulu 
long sleeve. So this one is a size, oops, size six. I paid $17.99 for it. Uh, yeah, a little bit high priced. I don't think it's a new style, but what's this? Oh, that's the thumb thing. It tucks in there. Maybe it is. Like it has some of this um, kind of accenting on it. And I feel like that might be a newer style, but otherwise there's nothing in here to give me a size. There's no zip up. Oh yeah, size six, but the style I'm not sure of. It almost reminds me of um, like a cycling top or maybe even like a lightweight running top. I'll have to look it up. I'm sure I won't get much over $50 for it, but yeah, I like Lulu tops. I know I say I'm going to like stop sourcing them, not seeing the profit margin that I want on them, but I really like them and I feel like they bring people to my closet. They look at the other items. Some things you just don't make big bucks on, but then I have other items that, you know, I double or triple my investments on. So it's kind of trying to balance it all out. Uh, as long as I can make some money on this right now, I think I'm going to grab them. And then my favorite piece. So the brand is Produce Produce Company. I'm going to show you guys. I had two $2 off coupons. So I did say $4 today. This one was priced high and I used the $4 or the $2 off coupon on this single purchase. But I don't know this brand. I feel like I've seen the tag before. I didn't look up comps on it. I actually thought that this was like $7.49 when I grabbed it and I got to the till. I saw the tag and I was like, uh, that's a little bit more than what I thought, but it's so unique. Like it, it reminds me of bedspread material. Uh, I think it's like a chenille, but yeah, it's super nice, nice color good buttons on it good condition I think it's a hundred percent cotton yeah hundred percent cotton grown in California oh my gosh yeah I gotta look this up so really cool piece all right this is my value village haul let's go skip over to a couple more stores I got two buy sell trade stores that I like to go to and I'm hoping I just find some really good pieces that I can flip and make some money on. Oh no, I just pulled up. There's like a whatever stop, stop lights. Um, I totally forgot they're doing construction on this bridge and it's like really reduced traffic so hopefully we don't get stuck sitting here for too long uh, this is like a pain in the butt and it's going to be going on for months so this is actually one of the reasons why i avoid this side of town it is this construction and this bridge is like the main artery around saskatoon so it's such a pain in the butt First off, we're gonna go to Style Encore, one of my favorite places to go. I am very specific in what I'm picking up here and definitely wanna make sure that I'm checking comps before I buy because this is gonna be a place where I am paying up for items. So I pay top dollar, but I don't have to sift through a thrift store, right? So you pay up a little bit more. Um, I also find less flaws, better quality, a little bit more consistent sourcing but it does narrow down the profit margin a little bit coming here i don't know i haven't been here in a couple days we'll see what we can find i want to look through dresses and jeans and lulu and shorts yeah i got a bunch of stuff i want to look through and oh, we'll see how busy it is in there <laughs> all right let's go in Chattanooga boy. 
boy had a dollar and a dime. I hit it out from Nashville on the hard rock line. I'm working on that old steamboat and learn to ride the steam. When my feet had touched dry land, how happy I did feel. Saving every penny for to make up through the fall. Working for that dollar, but it never adds up at all. Coming around the river banker, the old train was so sane. The very next thing you hear from me, I've been tied to a ball and chain. And I don't know where I'll be But if it wasn't for that old sheriff I'd be back in Tennessee Playing cards and crap games Not looking for the score And if I ever get back home again I'll never own no To my soul. May not know better, but I know you know right from wrong. Buy yourself a postcard to see the lights of town. Find yourself a country girl. All right, here I am back in the car. I, I feel like I'm really letting you guys down today, but they don't have carts here and you have to carry everything and i was like i can do this i can do this and then four items are in your arm and it's just so hard to juggle everything so i put the phone away and did some sourcing and uh, i found some really good pieces i got a pair of like rolos i like this brand they're kind of hit and miss for what they hold but these are a high rise straight leg and they're in a size 30 so i like that they're a bigger size they're actually really nice looking jeans uh they remind me of like the goldy kind of loose leg one so i grabbed those i got some wilfred tie front pants loving these i just sold a pair of these i think for 70 65 75 dollars not very long ago um i got some classic neutral tone Wilfred knit sweaters and these are not high value ones but I just find they're really quick and easy flips and then there was some new Lulu I really like these these are a size 8 and you can always tell new Lulu because it has the numbers and letters around it but nice gray leggings I've sold a couple pairs of these they're holding good value um, pair of green joggers Oh, and they have like a different tag on them. It's like a cream colored. But uh, yeah, these are probably like a 2018, 2019. What else? I got a pair of Lulu kind of like wide legs. And I, I like these ones because they have like that V in the back. And then I ended up grabbing that Free People. Um, we the Free Top. It was a little bit pricey. They had it marked at $20. I feel like I could probably sell this for 50 bucks. And it's a really cute kind of summer boho going with that. Um, what is it? Coastal cowgirl. I think that's coastal cowgirl style. Okay, so we have one more store we're going to hit up. Uh, it's Plato's Closet. And I have a love-hate with Plato's, but uh, we'll see how it is. I have a love-hate with every store to be honest um yeah they each have their like good things oh my gosh can you guys hear my car is a diesel so it's like purring like a kitten they each have their pros and their cons right and uh play-dohs i can find some really good pieces that's where i find i found that uh what was it that a goldy denim jumpsuit i found that there i find a lot of my lululemon jackets there like those that rain jacket uh, i think i found two rain jackets in the last month and so that like 
that part I like, but some of their other stuff is just priced all over the place and you have to dig through so much stuff. I am a lazy reseller. I am a low hanging fruit picker. Is that a saying? I, I, I feel like that's a saying, uh, but I like, I like to get the best that I can in a short amount of time. And if I have to like flip through a hundred or a thousand or 10,000 hangers, it's just not my favorite way to source. So we'll see what we can find. I kind of scoot through there quick. So my goal is to probably be in and out of there in 40 minutes. I'm sure I leave a lot of things behind, but like I said, I just, I don't have the patience. Like I don't know how people go sourcing and spend three hours in one store. Like I just can't do it. And when I first started reselling, I used to spend probably, probably an hour and a half to two hours at Value Village. And now I'm like 45 minutes, hour at the max, hour at the absolute max, but I'm probably even shooting for like 30 to 45 minutes when I go into a store. And uh, just trying to find their new stuff, trying to recognize patterns, colors, materials, things that I like to sell and skim through there. Like I can usually spot a cheap, a cheap quality, item like when I when I see it I don't even look at it and there's like certain colors and patterns that I'm like nope not looking at that stuff so it does cut out time in that way like I don't look at every single piece of clothing on the rack but I'm sure I miss stuff all right let's make our way over to Plato's I have 40 minutes before I gotta pick the girls up time did I spend? I spent about a half hour in there. Didn't really find much. I did find some really good pieces, but they were priced really high. Like I found a nice Babaton blazer, but they wanted $55. Um, oh, I don't even know. I found a Patagonia jacket, but it was older and they wanted $30 for it. I just couldn't. I was like, this is old, but I did find a few pieces. What are these? Wilfred. Um, kind of like nice shorts. I really like the material. I'm hoping these will fit me. <laughs> uh, I got like a nice Wilfred summer dress. Has like that spaghetti strap kind of look. Green. Not normally a color I grab. I'm trying to grab some brighter colors. And then I scored a Chevalier. What the heck? Where is it? A Wilfred double zero Chevalier blazer. And it's a neutral tone, good condition, no stains, no like ripped hems or anything. So yeah, I'm okay with it. Uh, it wasn't a crazy day. I didn't find a ton of stuff. These are the staples. These are the types of brands, colors, styles that I'm looking for. Not as much summer stuff, but 
I need to start moving summer stuff so that I can continue to source it. And my summer stuff's moving a little bit slower right now. Like I'm still selling kind of like winter spring items. So I'm going to stick with these and uh, yeah, get these listed right away. And I'm excited about those Rolo jeans. Those look like a goldy loose 90s, like very close. And Rolos is pretty decent brand too to pick up. So yeah, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this haul and uh, just trying to like simmer on the sourcing. Oops, someone's getting out of the truck. Trying to simmer on the sourcing, being really smart about what I'm grabbing. Some of these items are gonna be more like fall pieces, but uh, I'm not too worried. All right, coming in here, we are gonna finish this off with some items that I have found in the last few days. And I found a surprise in my office. Hold on, you guys gotta see this. Look at this sassy little cat that I found sitting in my chair karen you gotta go scoot scoot she's like no no i'm here my chair <laughs> all right i am back in my office we're gonna go over a few more items that i found rather than doing like my traditional thrift haul that i have been doing lately i'm gonna try and switch things up a bit more on my channel now i'm gonna do something fun and I want you to select one item from this entire thrift day and including this thrift haul now and drop it in the comments. What is your favorite item? And I am going to do a giveaway. I have a surprise. I'm going to mail something out to one person that comments and it's like a huge bolo. First time ever finding it and I'm going to gift it to one of you guys. I thought it'd be something fun. I want to try and do more giveaways and like share I don't know just share the love you know I appreciate you guys coming watching my videos supporting my channel and I just thought you know I need to find a way to give back a little bit more okay let's go over these items I have been so torn on what I should be grabbing should I be grabbing fall should I be grabbing spring summer items and for right now, because I know that my thrift stores, buy, sell trades, consignments are all gonna stop selling fall and winter stuff really soon, I need to just continue buying it and I'm just gonna list it. And you know what? If it doesn't sell till August, it is what it is. I don't really care at this point, but I know that I'm gonna lose access to all of this great stuff. So I have a lot of sweaters here, but I'm still selling them. First up, are these lululemon they're like on the fly pants i love this color you can't even see it good but it's like a sagey green they were in a size eight these are actually like one of my favorite pants to own i own a few of them and i just sold a pair similar to those for 60 dollars. so pretty good i grabbed Oh, here we go. I grabbed this Community Sweater. Community is a brand that is sold at Aritzia. It's an older brand. I don't even know if Community makes clothes still or if it's a brand that they're carrying, but I love these cape sweaters. It's like kind of a knit oversized cape one. It's called the cape sweater. It was more commonly sold in light gray, but I love this color. And I think I'm actually going to keep this one for myself. I don't think I'm going to sell this one. Uh, I grabbed a Free People size medium. I think this is the Sweetheart sweater. I love this. I actually got two of these in a Quick Lots box a couple, like two years ago. I can't even remember how. I think it was two years ago that Quick Lots was a thing. I love this and it has like the balloon sleeves and it's like a big chunky knit material. This color is almost like a tan colored but like multi-tone, I don't know how to describe it. Like it, it's like light and dark. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. I'm excited with that one. I think that one will probably sell for over $70. This is a new to me brand. I'm gonna show you the tag. So it's called Punasaur. Punasaur, I don't even, <laughs> Punasaur? I don't, I'm gonna show you the tag one more time. Anyways, it is 100% alpaca. It's imported from Peru and it's just a really, really soft, like gray knit sweater. It is incredibly soft. I picked this up just on it being 100% alpaca, but I did not look up the brand and I'm going to have to look this one up. I'm hoping that this is going to be like a good eBay 
item because now that I'm seeing lots of sales on eBay, I am also sourcing for eBay and I find my free people stuff doesn't do as well on eBay, but my Lululemon does really good. Um, men's items have been doing good. Higher value items have been doing really good over there. So I'm just still learning, still learning. You guys are joining in on my eBay journey and hopefully we can learn together. And if at any point in my videos, you have any nuggets of information to share, I am all ears. I am so open to learning more. It's not even funny. I just want to make eBay a thing. Like I really want to make eBay a thing. Next up is another free people item. This is an extra small and it's like an olive green knit sweater. I love the texture of it. Uh, these items have been doing really well, like free people sweaters in my Poshmark closet. Get that one listed. And then this is the last free people item, I think. And this one is an extra small. That's the tag. And it's a bit of a crop sweater. So I, I thought this would be a good spring one. It is a nice kind of soft mauve color, textured knit. Usually, again, I'm expecting to sell this for over 65, hopefully $70, we'll see. Free People sweaters do pretty good on Poshmark Canada side. And then the last item that I grabbed, which I paid up for, I paid $30 for these, but I'm expecting to sell them for over 75. And this is Babaton, this is a brand from Aritzia. I talk about it so much, it's like one of my favorite brands to sell. But yeah, they're just a straight leg, trouser pant and I think they're a tall because it's a very long inseam when I held them up on on myself I they've got to be like a 32 inch inseam and then they had this so the Adelier I think is what it is they have a suit jacket as well yeah I think these are the pants that match to it so I imagine these pants probably retail for about 148 dollars so yeah we'll see we'll see how they do they may be more of a fall winter sale. And then today I was out sourcing. I grabbed these. I don't sell a lot of Pilcro. Pilcro is a brand sold at Anthropology, but they're a size 30. They're white um, denim shorts. They have a little bit of stretch in them. They're also a longer inseam. So almost like a Bermuda, which I think is still a trending style, which is why I grabbed them. I don't know. We'll take a chance on them. I did not search comps on these, but I feel like they'll do okay on Poshmark. Another brand that I don't grab often for resale, but it had a couple factors going for it, is Citizens of Humanity. Where the heck is the label? This one doesn't even have a... Like, usually they have kind of a tag inside. Oh... I think these were brought in at the back, like they were brought in at the waist. Interesting. Yeah, totally. Okay. Anyways, here is what the inside tag looks like. These are a size 27, but I'm going to show you why I think so. So you can see they added something here and then they also, this isn't, this doesn't match the other stitching, but what it does is brings the waist in, but allows more room in the, in the butt area. But these are a wide leg crop, which is why I grabbed them. And they're a raw hem, which is a trending style. They had them priced at $5.99. I also saved the 20%, so they probably cost me about five bucks. I don't know. I'm taking a chance. Again, not a brand I usually grab, but they were light wash, wide leg, and a crop. Those factors were enough for me to grab this one. And I did look it up on eBay. There actually was no sold. So it might turn into an okay eBay sale as well. Uh, these next two items I grabbed for eBay. And I'm going to give away one of them. The first item is a Kate Spade jean jacket. I don't normally grab Kate Spade as a brand. But... I looked up solds. I looked up how many were available in this wash, in this style, and then I looked up how many had sold. And I feel like this will probably do okay. I think it's going to sell between fifty and eighty dollars, and I paid ten bucks for it. So that's I'm okay with that. This next brand had like a three hundred percent sell through rate. Uh, it is a new to me brand. Not a new, I've heard of this brand before, 
but I have never found it. I feel like it's definitely more popular in the States. It has not come to Canada yet. Well, maybe it's here, but I really don't find it. The brand is Viori, so V-U-O-R-I. And this is a men's shirt. I don't know if it has the size somewhere in it or how you figure out the size. Of course, they would be like a Lululemon where you can't figure figure out the sizing on it. If you know how to size this, please let me know. But I think it would probably be a men's large. Anyways, when I looked up just Viore men's shirt large, there was, I think like 95 available. Then I filtered it to sold and there was 350 sold. It was so crazy. So super high sell through rate. I am going to be giving this away to one viewer and all you have to do is comment down below your favorite item from today, from the whole video, outsourcing, this after thrift haul, what is your favorite item? And uh, I'm gonna select one lucky person to receive this Viore shirt with a 300% sell through rate. My gift to you guys, never found it, and I am going to give it away. I do have one more item that I wanted to share, and then we'll wrap this up. Next item is a Marmot jacket. I don't find these often and this one's kind of what do they call it it's like a marmot gore windstopper so i think it's supposed to be like a gore-tex material although like i don't know to me it doesn't feel like a gore-tex material but marmot is another like outdoor hiking brand that just holds really good value it will probably do good on Poshmark, although I'm hoping that it sells on eBay. I didn't check comps on eBay, but I know on Poshmark, this jacket will do pretty good. All right, that is my sourcing slash thrift haul for this week. And I, uh, I really am happy with the items that I've been finding. I'm trying to do focus sourcing. I'm trying to make sure I'm grabbing items that I think will sell for a good dollar where I'm making a decent amount of money and I'm trying to keep my cost of goods as low as possible, but it's difficult. It's very difficult. I just don't have access to a lot of low cost of goods shopping locally. So I am working with what I have and uh, just trying to grow that eBay side and trying to get those sales happening there. And I'm, I'm like sourcing almost different items for eBay because eBay is, I feel like is just so much more vast with brands and what's selling and Poshmark sometimes I feel like is it just a little bit more narrow and it might have to do with like demographics and how many people are shopping on eBay compared to Poshmark here in Canada. But yeah, I just, I think eBay is going to become the breadwinner in my business. I just need to get it to there. All right, guys. I am done. I'm going to let you go. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to select one lucky winner on Sunday night and send out that Viore shirt. So I look forward to hearing what your favorite item is. If this video brings you happiness or value to your reselling business, make sure to give me a thumbs up and tap subscribe on the way out because that really helps my channel. All right. I am wishing you guys all many sales and I will see you next time. Bye.